uh, so Daniel, thanks for joining us today here in Ottawa for this uh, special announcement. Uh, I'm sure you're a new face for a lot of our supporters, and I, I want to just give you a chance to, to introduce yourself, to tell our supporters a, a bit about your background, uh, your professional history. Yes, uh, it's a long, it's a long story. But in politics, I began in 1987 in a in municipal election, so that was the first time, and then I was involved in the federal, and after that. I quit a little bit. There was, you know, the referendum in 1995 in Quebec province. Uh, so I, I, I went aside uh, after that. But in 2003, I went back to the Conservative Party of Canada. Um, I, I stayed there until 20, uh, 2018. But before that, in 2005, there were municipal elections. I was involved too because uh, uh, you know, the proximity of municipal is very important for people. We have big, uh, big, uh, big topics to cover, big uh, projects in Quebec uh, City. Uh, it was a mess. It was, uh, wasn't going well. So I was then in uh, 2005 at the first election, electronic election. Uh, it was a mess too. <laughs> and my name is in the report of the DGE, uh, Directeur General des Elections in Quebec, because there were, fla there were flaws in the process of electronic voting, already in, tw in uh, 2005. So uh, I'm a guy of IT. I work in information technology, although uh, I'm very careful about uh, getting uh, the, the vote, the electronic vote. It's always an issue who controls it, so. Yeah, excellent. Uh, and as, as well, I think you've run for the leadership of the, the Conservative Party of Quebec. Can you yeah. tell us a bit about that? Uh, two times. The first time it was with, uh, uh, in fact, uh, in 20, 2012, I present, presented myself as an MP for the new Parti Conservateur du Québec with Le Carvé. Uh, I was a former candidate. And then Le Carvé quit, and there, there, were, there was a race. So I, I ran the first time against Adrien Pouliot. So this, this was the first time. And uh, of course, Adrien won, and I follow him. I, uh, I advise her at the end and some other people. I, I stay in the party to, to uh, bonify the, pro the program. So because uh, uh, Quebec needed a conservative uh, right-wing program uh, to, to, to get out of the, what we call in French, gouvernement, you know, the, the government trying to control everything, every people. So I was in this mood. And I still in this mood uh, anyway. And yes, um, <clears throat> following that, Adrien uh, quit, uh, announced his uh, announced his demission, uh, uh, not demission, um, uh, announced he quits. Uh, he, stepped down. he stepped down. Yeah, so he steps down uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, about uh, November. And then I have people asking me uh, if I want to run. I wasn't in this mood at all. Uh, because I, I ran for PPC in 2019, uh, 2019, yeah, and so it was uh, uh, it, it was big years. Uh, maybe I'm going too fast, but uh, after you know, um, just between Maxim founded his party in 2017, again I ran as a mayor of Quebec City against Regis Labon uh, for the Parti Alliance Citoyenne de Québec. And uh, because it was a mess too, <laughs> again, uh, many expenses, uh, many a uh, big budget for uh, city of Quebec, uh, Quebec City about uh, over a, a billion dollars. Uh, uh, we, it was at this time I think uh, one billion four hundred millions dollars of uh, budget, very too expensive, many expenses. So uh, I ran as mayor, and then so Ma Maxine created this party in 2019. And uh, I, I was a, I was still in the Conservative Party. I, in fact, I was VP. Uh, I was former VP of the riding of uh, Gérard Deltel. Um, the problem is, uh, many people told me in the Conservative Party at this time, well, you know, we should have, we should be less right wing. We should go more liberals to attract them. And I almost felt in the trap. Yeah, there was the big congress in Saint Hyacinthe. Uh, it was uh, May 2018. Many uh, special, <laughs> special resolutions were passed, and uh, I told myself, "Is it what I want? I'm not sure." Okay, I understand. We must attract them, but it was kind of liberal mentality, you know. And I wasn't sure. And then came Maxim, the sixth tweet, as I call it, 
the six first wheel of 2018. And uh, uh, there was the Congress of Halifax. I mean, yeah, so there was a, a big uh, cr uh, crash, yeah, a crash of ideas, yeah. we can say that. And uh, when I saw the tweets, I said, wow, because the tweets talk about freedom. Uh, I, I always have the, 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 the mindset of uh, freedom for every, every, every aspect, every, for driving, rules, regulations. I'm a kind of rebel, in a sense, I can say that. So I, against uh, all the stupid laws, stupid regulations, and sometimes I said, why, why did they put that? Oh, you know, it's for the security, the security. And I, I never want it. So of course, the, then Maxim um, create the PPC, freedom of, of speech, but liberty, it wasn't the, the principle of this party, you know? It's, it, it's tempered, it, it's stamped in the platform. This is important. Based on that, all the, the, all the resolution, the platforms must follow these principles, these values. Integrity, very important, respect, responsibility, uh, so you know, very important for me. So you've also been involved in the, the PPC for a long time. Uh, you at the beginning, and <laughs> founding members, yeah. yeah. So, so how did you get involved uh, with the party? I know you've kind of been a... You've Candidate in two elections. Yeah, uh, I met Maxim uh, in the 2018, the, the, the municipal election. We cross uh, each other two times in the same day. Yeah. yeah, in the same place without knowing it. Yeah. Of course, I knew Maxim because uh, as I was involved in the uh, Parti Conservateur de Québec, Maxim went to our Congress, which I, I was, uh, of course, involved. And uh, I've talked uh, so sometimes with Maxim. I, of course, I followed the, the race in 2017. Of the CPC, I, I I was not involved in this race. I didn't have any particular party. Uh, although I like uh, Chris Alexander for his diplomatic position, hard ones. I like that. Uh, also, uh, Maxim, I I vote for him, and I I vote. But I, I told Maxim, uh, Rich, uh, Rich Peterson has a good platform too. So they they were near similar, you know. So I was in this mood. I still have in this mindset. I, I'm still in this mindset of having a smaller government. And uh, so then we cross each, each other and uh, we talk just be between two interviews, uh, Maxime with CBC and me with TVA, Quebec R. And uh, yes, uh, after the election, uh, I saw the progress. The campaign was uh, growing in tw for 2019. So Maxime went to Quebec uh, City again and uh, I had some contacts who called me uh, if I wanted to be candidate and stuff like that. So, of course, yes. So, and after that, uh, uh, 20, uh, 2021 came again, and with the next election, of course, for me, it was natural. Yeah, we must do something. Uh, like, uh, um, I met again Maxim and you in the May 1st uh, walk in Montreal, the biggest event. Uh, it was crazy. Yeah. 100,000 people. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. Even <laughs> some media telling the, the morning, I remember, about 5,000 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we know it's the media narrative. And with the media, media narratives uh, came the wokeness also. And the PPC, I'm proud that Maxim uh, is uh, against the wokeness uh, mindset also. And then with, the, with your new role, you'll have a strong voice in the party yeah. uh, to represent Quebec. I'm, I'm wondering if there are any issues or ideas that you think are maybe underrepresented in the, in the current kind of political conversation mm. that you might be able to speak to? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, as I told, there will be uh, regional um, issues, uh, actually um, not well managed by the federal, provincial, and municipal. Uh, it, it's, all a it's all mixed up right now, too mixed up. Uh, big issues in Montreal, big issues in Quebec, in region, Gaspésia. Of, of course, I will be the voice for the, all the, these regions, but we must uh, also um, uh, hear the people on the ground. This is important and uh, to, to grow the party everywhere. And we have to, um, to, uh, to, to assemble some teams, uh, strong teams. I want a, a strong team in Quebec province and everywhere the media then could recognize us. That would be important. So media could point at me, but other coordinators also. And uh, without having a fear 
of uh, you know to control. I don't want to control each one of them. Mm. Uh, I I know them. I know the people, and I have trust in them, and they have trust in me. Like Maxim trusts me, and uh, I trust Maxim. So I will bring that to Quebec province, and of course there's the Bloc Québécois. It's uh, distinction <laughs> again, uh, a part uh, of other provinces in Canada. Many issues. Uh, again, uh, you know the, the the money transfer from Ottawa uh, in healthcare and uh, education. Many, many, uh, too, too many intrusions of federal in province to centralize. Of course, I'm for the decentralization and the Bloc Québécois. They can't be uh, in the power. Never. Never. It's a dream. And the dream is over. And uh, I will bring the voice to tell people uh, the dream is over. Time to get out and uh, do something else. Be different and be a part of the Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once and for all. All together from coast to coast. Excellent. Uh, to wrap things up, do you have uh, any message to bring to our supporters in, in Quebec uh, or across the country? Uh, of course. Now... Uh, now and never, uh, now, now and never, we'll have a strong voice and strong foot on ground uh, to represent PPC. If you want to get involved, it's the time now. If you are tired of uh, Trudeau and Bloc Québécois, try, tired of all politics, <clears throat> you want something new and you want people of convictions, there's only one party. It's the, par the People's Party of Canada of Maxime Bernier. And Maxime Bernier is a Québécois, but he's not just a Québécois, he's a Canadian. And he has strong values for everyone, including Quebecers. And each region must have its place in the Canada. And uh, we'll work together to, to do that. And uh, the freedom, uh, the, 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 the fight for freedoms and the rights is for everyone. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us here today. And uh, thanks for introducing yourself to, to our supporters. Thank you very much, Daniel. A pleasure to meet you in person. It's, uh, it's worth the effort to meet to all together and uh, we gain uh, much more in, uh, in force like that. To make a debate, I had to have a paper to, to, to circulate in, in a car to go to a debate. Yeah, so you could oppose the restrictions. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I oppose it. Uh, I didn't change my mind on that.